Hey, what's good everybody? Jay Coffee Talk here. Back again, got another video for you guys, so check it out, man. 10 months ago, back in June, I'm um, actually covered this on my previously terminated channel. The story got a lot of attention. People seem to be interested. Jim Jones was out in Georgia with three other people. They got into a bit of a high speed chase, I guess you would call it. Um, I believe, you know, what they, what was being reported was that they were just kind of trying to find a way if they could ditch the contents of contraband that they had in the car, but they weren't able to, and they ended up getting pulled over. They got knocked with some weed, some of those THC, like marijuana vape cartridges, which I keep hearing, uh, I believe Daz Dillinger got knocked with those too, and a few other uh, rappers or celebrities, that must be the new thing, I've never been a a big weed smoker but seems like uh they all keep getting knocked with these these cartridges get in the comments let me know if you guys if you guys smoke weed if you guys fuck with those what the deal with those are if those are like real potent or real clean effects or something i don't know those just seem to be the the big uh you know new trend when it comes to weed that everyone's into they also had some oxycontins some perks and two guns Got hit with a bunch of charges, six felonies altogether, and Jim actually bailed out and let the other people sit. And he was catching a lot of heat for that. People were like, Jimmy, why why the fuck did you do that? You know what I'm saying? Bail your peoples out, you're foul for that. But um, yeah, they were way out there in Georgia and the sticks got some sheriffs got them. But anyways, man, it wasn't looking good for Jimmy. But what happened was everyone kept their mouth shut, even the people that he let sit in jail. So they must have had fucked up and they knew better. Like Jimmy left me sitting for a little while to get my mind right or something, or they were just some real motherfuckers because they didn't say nothing neither. And um, they weren't really able to put the charges on anyone because no one copped to nothing as far as admitting guilt, you know, admitting that anything was theirs. So this is smart. But in the end, he just took a plea deal and um, he's got two years probation, a $1,500 fine off the rip. They dropped three of the five, three of the six charges and um, <clears throat> one drug charge and the two gun charges. So he had to cop to two of the drug charges, but if he completes the probation, those charges will go away as well. So it all turned out pretty, pretty good for Jimmy, you know. Um, a lot of legal experts and stuff were all, you know, predicting that this could be a big deal. Jim Jones might be going to lay down and do some time, but it all worked out for Jimmy. So, you know, uh, congrats to Jim Jones, you know, never want to see no one, you know, going to do some jail, jail time or whatever. I ain't that type of dude. But um, get in the comments, guys. Let me know what you think about this. As long as uh, he completes the probation, the other charges will come off his record too, like I said. So it'll be like this whole incident never happened. So I'd say that's a W in court for Jim. You know what I'm saying? Although he didn't flat out beat the case, this is such a sweet plea deal that he got, in my opinion. $1,500 fine and, uh, you know, don't piss dirty for, for two years. That's basically what the deal is. Now, Jim Jones' lifestyle, maybe the, you know, abstaining from tr drinking and smoking might not be that easy, but... I think he's got that covered, so I don't know, y'all. Get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. It's Jay Coffee Talk. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like and subscribe, guys. Hit that notification bell. Help my channel grow. Jay Coffee Talk, blogging, sports, music, news, life, and more. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.